Hello! Today we want to teach you about the pathway of blood to the body. The heart itself is made up of four different chambers. On top you have your right and left atria, and on bottom you have your right and left ventricles. Blood enters the right atrium through the superior and inferior vena cava, two large veins which have collected blood from all throughout your body. At this point, the blood is low in oxygen. Once inside the right atrium, blood passes through the right atrioventricular valve into the right ventricle. Then it passes through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary trunk, which is a tube that splits into two pulmonary arteries that lead to the lungs. Your blood receives oxygen from your lungs, then travels back through the pulmonary veins on the posterior side of the heart. The pulmonary veins take the oxygen-rich blood into your left atrium. Then it will travel through the left atrioventricular valve into the left ventricle. Next, blood will move up through the aortic valve into the ascending aorta, another tube similar to the pulmonary trunk, but more posterior. Blood keeps going from the ascending aorta to the aortic arch, down the descending aorta, and to the rest of the body. Now we're going to teach you a simple dance to help you remember the pathway of blood. Let's break it down. Your body represents the four chambers of the heart. Right and left atria, right and left ventricles. Blood has entered the right atria, the superior and inferior vena cava. Then it goes to the right atrioventricular valve into the right ventricle, then up the pulmonary valve, pulmonary trunk, through the pulmonary arteries, and into the lungs. After blood receives oxygen, it travels through the pulmonary veins on the posterior side into the left atrium goes through the left atrioventricular valve into the left ventricle, then through the aortic valve, ascending aorta, aortic arch, descending aorta, and into the rest of the body. Some important facts to remember about the pathway of blood. First, arteries send blood away from the heart. You can remember this because arteries, in a way, both start with the letter A. Second, veins bring blood back to the heart. And third, the left ventricle is larger than the right ventricle because it has to pump blood to the entire body, while the right ventricle only pumps blood to the lungs. Happy studying!